So hi, I'm Lee Volpus, and today I'm going to be doing a tier list of my favorite Wings of Fire characters. Now, uh, Wings of Fire was my first fandom before I was kind of a brony, before I was even a furry. This was my first fandom, and I I want to kind of go back to it because Book 14 just released a few months ago. I still need to read Book 13. So I thought, in the spirit of that, let's get into it. So let's start off with Clay, the first, the one that started it all. I mean, if this book didn't take off, who knows where this series would have gone. So, uh, he, he has a good arc. He's kind of like the, um... He, he's there, he's the dragon that's a destiny, he's big wings, basically. And, so, I just wanna, hmm, this is a tough choice, because I believe Clay still has a lot for his character to do before he can be an S tier, so A tier. Let's move on to the second dragon that we meet, Tsunami, heir to the throne of the Sea Wings. And she she can be strict at times, but she can also be funny. She's like she's like Hermione Granger from Harry Potter. However, her character could be a little bit more developed. Like she could I feel like she needs to explore her feelings for Riptide. So for that reason, A tier. Next off, Sunny, the queen of happiness, the queen of cute. I would put her in S or A, however, she was in like a love triangle with between Clear Sight and Starflight. And see how this one's pointing towards this one? That's because Sunny kind of almost rejected Starflight with like, um, she, she likes him like a friend. And she left Starflight when he was recovering, when his eyes were blasted by the volcano! Spoil- uh, I should have claimed spoilers. I'll edit that at the beginning. Um, so for that reason, since she kind of abandoned Starflight when he needed her most, B tier. And while we're on the subject of Starflight, let's go! I would put him in S tier because he's one of my favorite characters, but, however, because of Too Easy Settling Blinding him, I just feel like that was unnecessary, so, A tier, and we'll also put Clear Sight in B tier, because, I don't know, she, she just, um, I feel like she's just there, you know, she's just like a side character, like, I feel like her character could be a bit more developed. Instead of being the kooky one. Uh, they're like, oh, she's just like that, just don't worry, and they forget about her. Just like, I feel like she could be more developed than that, so, B tier. Now, Lori, the queen of Rain Wings and the queen of Sass. For that reason... S tier. We're going full S tier with Glory, even though I think her character could be a bit more developed in that she should maybe explore her feelings for Deathbringer. I mean, she, let's face it, she loves him, and he loves her, and let's face it, they should be together. Maybe they are, but she's in denial. Uh, because if she did, the Rainwing paparazzi would be all over her, so S tier. Now, whilst we're on the subject of queens, let's talk about the the other queen of cute, Kinkajou, S tier. She, even though uh, her character could be a bit more developed in that, she needs her own book. She needs her own book. She just needs it, Chewie. Um... Uh, so she maybe can explore her feelings for Turtle, and while we're on the subject of Turtle, A tier. This guy is just, this guy is just planet awesome. Like, 
he fought his own sister and stopped her from killing their mom. This is their mom, Queen Coral. And, like, dude, just awesome guy. He, he's an animus. He doesn't want to be. He he feels like he can't be uh, because of the, his ancestor, Albatross. Uh, the, the the classic underdog who who rises up and becomes the hero. The, the, the classic. Oh, because that S tier. Now. Let's talk about some villains here. Scarlet. The first, like, baddie were introduced, apart from, like, the three queens. Blister, Blaze, and Burn. And they're just... It's... Uh, she's just... Scarlet's just nasty. She makes dragons fight for sport, and it's just... It's diabolical and sick. S tier, just because like she she's just like one of the best villains. Peril, she got her own book. However, I think she, she missed out a lot. For like three out of the five books of the first arc, she was absent. She needed she needs more than that. And for like the first few books of like the second arc, the Dark Stalker arc. I feel like she needs a bit more in, like, character development. I would love to see her and Clay, like, confess their feelings for one another. But other than that, great character, so A tier. Now let's go on to Moon. Uh, one of, uh, like, some of the... Like, this... And when, when, I, when my brother and I were thinking this, we, we didn't know she was in that movie. We thought this was a new dragon. We were thinking, like, what is that, Deathwing? No, just, just turns out it's another Nightwing. Um, yeah, um, so, I think it's, uh, she's one of the only few Nightwings since Darkstalker happened to have the ability to read minds and prophecy. Um, here's how it works. Uh, one moon, you either get prophecy or foretelling the future. Born on, um, so here's how it works. One, you're born under a full moon. If you're a Nightwing, you get either prophecy or, uh, mind, or mind reading. You're born under two full moons, you get both. If you're born under three full moons, it was thought that would make you an animus dragon, but no, that's only if you have parents who are animus dragons. Animus is that you have, like, external magic. Um, um, what Three Moons does is it just makes you more powerful. Is it just increases the powerfulness of those abilities. Um, Moon was one under two full moons. And that... And so she got both. And, um, she talks to Darkstalker. However, she's the one who set Dar sets Darkstalker free, but... King could choose the one who saves the day in the end by giving him, by giving Darkstalker a strawberry. So Moon kind of helped. And she's kind of in a relationship with Kibley. However, Winter, I'm I'm definitely sure had a crush on Kibley, like a like a guy crush, maybe a, a bro crush, or just like a I'm not sure. Winter Winter's a complicated character. He needed more um Stuff, but uh, we'll deal with Winter later. For Moon, uh, she's so close. I can't just keep putting people in S tier because they're so good. Screw it, S tier. Now we're on the subject of her boyfriend, Kibley. He he's the one who saves all the the Ice Wings. Well, let's face it, all the Ice Wings are jerks, because they, their system is just screwed up, man. Like, you're judged by how good you are, and that affects your social standing. And how, and and what you will end up doing in life. That's kind of like real life, but, uh, but it's enforced upon you from birth that you need to be good, otherwise we disown you. That's like... 
that's just, this is crappy, you know? It's just like, what in the absolute heck? So, for that reason, apart from winner, this Ice Wing, we're not gonna, we're gonna skip quickly for now. Snowfall, you go in an F tier. You, your system is screwed up. Change it. So, Umber, he was one of the fake Dragonettes, I'm pretty sure. I think, yeah. Um, so... I don't know, um, I'm gonna put him in C tier because I, d I think he needs more development. He's a, he's a funny character, I'll give him that, but he just needs more development. Queen Coral. Well, actually, let's, let's, let's get back to the point with Kibli. So Kibli, he's the one who saved the Ice Wings, okay? He's like... He's like the, he's like the, he's like the best regular roommate. Uh, he, I mean, he can be good at some things, but he can also be harsh, so he can either break or make your entire day, so. So for that reason, Kibli, I'm sorry, Moon, but your boyfriend's gonna have to go in A tier. I put them right next to each other, yay! Okay, let's put on... Winter. I'm pretty sure Winter was maybe gay or bi. Because, like, literally, I could maybe see him ending up with Kibli or Moonwatcher. Either one of these would work. And I would be happy with it. However, he, he's a complicated character. He, um, he was banished for just being who he was and not accepting the Icewing, like, system and kind of helping Nightwings along the way. It, I don't know. It's just it's just Nightwings are stupid. They're, they're they're like one of the harshest tribes in the series. Um but Winter, he's a good guy for that reason. Should I put him in A or A or B? Since he needs like a bit more development and finding out like who he is as a character, like who will he like who he is in this world. I mean, I think he found out who he is in this world, but I feel like he could do a bit more, so B tier. Now that we got some of the older dragons, I mean, we got two that are kind of, we got one, two, three, four, five that are young, and we got the others that are old. And for Darkstar, I'm talking old, old, like... You read the books, he's like over 2,000. Now, Blue, he is just, I can, I can literally hear, and I did see this, I mean, I can literally hear Tom Holland playing Blue in like an animated series, that'd be awesome, so. For Blue... I mean, he got kind of his own book, but that was just, like, introducing us to this new continent, so... I feel like Blue needs some more development in, like, expressing his feelings for Cricket. I mean, they might have done that in the 13th book or the 12th book. It's been a while since I've read the books. I need to reread them. But Blue, I'm sorry, but your first book of the new series, Arc 3... I'm sorry, but it was okay, so I'm just going to put you in A tier instead of S. Now, let's move on to his love interest, Cricket. Cricket is like, she's like the big sister of the group. Like, she's the, like, she's just the, she always tries to do what's best, even if it's, even if it affects her happiness, so... And she, she's, she's the only dragon I've seen that can wear glasses, and also... And she, she has a baby, and she's like, I don't know what her age is, it's been a while. So, for that reason, S tier, she awesome. So, for this, now we've got... So, let's get on to our last three 
Yun Dragon, Sundew, Anemone, and Willow. Let's start with Anemone. She kind of shared a book with Turtle. Anemone, she, um, I don't know, she, she's okay, but I feel like her character needs to be more developed. She, she's basically, I don't know whether she's bi, lesbian, or pan, because she has, like, a huge love crush on Tamarin, a Rainwing, um, King Jus Ren, a Tamarin's a blind Rainwing. So, and then me, should I pamper her because I'm also LGBT plus, oh, what do I do? Um, but she was also kind of screwed up because of Darkstalker, so for that reason... Hey, I'm sorry, Anemone, I wanted to put you in S, but for that reason of Dark of you... Like, trusting in Darkstalker and then almost losing your humility. And Dragonity, um, I think that's so to say, like, Roganity or Humanity, so, um, let's put you in A. Sunu and Willow. Now, these two are in love. Willow is Sundu's girlfriend, um, and Sundu is Willow's girlfriend, so... And, uh, should I pamper these two as well? Sundu is, like, queen. So, S and Willow is her queen. So, S as well, because these two are just awesome together. These, like, they're just, like, they they make the ultimate queen duet that would, like, that would, like, bring peace. So now that we got all the young dragons down, except for Queen... Where did Queen Scarlet go? Oh, there she is. So now we got all the young dragons down, and like two old dragons down. Let's do some of the old... Let's do... Oh, we saved the queens and the king for last. So let's start with the king, Darkstalker. Ooh. I haven't read Darkstalker's novel yet. My brother did, and he said it was good. Um, but Darkstalker, he—he's kind of messed up, you know. He did get a redemption arc in uh, *Darkness of Dragons*, where King Kaju turned him into like a. Do a little baby dragonette. And he's gonna grow old and die. He lost his immortality. So, Darkstalker, you're a good character. I wouldn't say he's a villain. I'd say he's more of an anti-hero. He wanted what's best for the tribe. But what he thought was best was actually evil. So, it's a classic doing the wrong, doing the wrong thing for the right reason, I'm pretty sure. So... S tier. And then we got Blister, Blaze, and Burr. We got Blister, Blaze, and Burr, and the three Sandwing sisters. Burr and Blister die. Blaze lives. Coral, Queen Coral, and then Queen Thorn. Queen Coral is, she's okay, it's just her reasoning, whenever one of her eggs dies, um, she immediately kills the guard that fails. So, her reasoning is just kind of weird, so for that reason, uh, she's a good character. I'm gonna put her in B tier with, like, the dragons that need a bit more development. Thorn. Now, she awesome. She doesn't stand for any crap. Like, she's just like, nope, crap in my kingdom, you get out of here. So, for that reason, 
Sonny, I'm sorry, but your mom's gonna have to go a tier above you. Like, I feel like she needs a bit more development. Now, I saved the best for last. The three Sandwich sisters. Blaze is okay. She's gonna go and see because all she cares about is shiny stuff. Blister is kind of... Blister's just cruel and unusual. She just, she'll do whatever it takes to win. D. No, wait, she going... Yeah, sorry, she's gonna go a tier above Snowfall. I'm sorry, Snowfall, but... Ice Wings kinda suck. Burn is... Boss... In terms of... Being, like, the, the sassiest of the three sisters. I just feel like she could have been, like, a nicer... So I'm sorry, but you're going with your sister in the D tier, so that's my tier list. So we got Scarlet, Glory, Kinkajou, Turtle, Moon, Cricket, Sundew, Willow, Darkstalker, and Tier S. Clay, Tsunami, Starflight, Peril, Kibli, Blue, Anemone, and Thorn, and Tier A. Clear Sight. Wait. Wait, Clear Sight? Oh, I thought that's a Fate Speaker. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry, but, um, I thought that was Fate Speaker. Clear Sight, uh, you're going in S tier with your boyfriend. Sorry, I thought that was, <laughs> I thought that was Fate Speaker. That's gonna be a funny video. That's gonna be a funny part in the video. So, clear side, you're going with your boyfriend in tier S. Because she made a sacrifice. If it meant she couldn't be with Darksucker, if it meant the safety of Pure of Puria, she did it. So, in tier B, we got Sunny, Winter, Coral. In tier C, we got Umber and Blaze. In tier D, we have Blister and Burn. And in tier F, we have Snowfall because Ice Beams are cruel and suck. So that's my tier list. If you guys agree with me, um, if you guys don't agree with me, I'll leave the, I'll leave the tier list of this in the description. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Leave a little bit of Peace.